Sexton. Free play, he knows it. Almost down. <laughs> Keith the oh, six, he has it. Time on, please. So then, it's the third place playoff at the Autumn Nations Cup. It's Ireland against Scotland, and it's Scotland who get us underway. And Ireland will be looking for a bounce step back step after a disappointing back. performance. Last We're going to be on the side to start with. Georgia. And Price will dig it out from the bottom of that rook. And Ireland uh, quickly, that's real pace in that defensive line from Ireland, albeit on the Scottish 22. And again, Hogg is forced to change his mind, but doesn't he do it well? Oh, Stuart Hogg, dancing feet, gets him through two or three tacklers and sets Scotland on their way. And all of a sudden, they find themselves in behind Ireland. And it could have been even better than that. There's... Scotland almost got away, but all Slowly that up, coming from the creativity yeah. and the vision of Stuart Hogg, because that was not in the playbook. Touch. Let him go! Once let him go! Ian Henderson told to let the man to the ground. He had his knees there. The tackle is complete, and Scotland continue to build. Duncan Taylor, Keith Earls goes after it. Stuart Hogg clears the ball out, and it should be there for Ali Price. It is taken on by Gray. He's put to ground, makes a yard. Price once more. Holds on to the pass, but maybe he shouldn't let it go a little earlier. And he gave Ian Henderson the chance He's to rip the ball. The floor, then you've ripped it out. Jacko van der Volt missed his first kick at goal. And then puts three on the trot to give really Scotland really nine points. Time. Murray will dig That's it out it. here, Sexton. Then Henshaw. It's better for Marland. Bundiaki, they have men out wide. If CJ Stander can ship it on, then he can. It's Peter O'Mahony. And he uses his strength. And he doesn't have the pace to get around the defender. Cummings makes the tackle. Better from Ireland. Much better. Caelan Doris almost released by Ian Henderson. Better clear out work. And now Ireland hit fifth gear for once. But up comes Taylor to shut that down. And Scotland might find themselves in a bit more than penalty trouble here. As the referee asked the question, was it deliberate? Oh. Number 12. Number 12. No, not for us. Number 12. Stuart Hogg goes legal for the defence, but there is none. It's the dirty yards side. in tight to that breakdown. They're going to try and bludgeon their way over from there, Penalty but they have advantage. advantage again. Remember all this time, it's 15 against 14. Ireland have that extra man out hands. Are they prepared to back themselves, having sucked in so many Scottish defenders? Sexton, free play, he knows it. Almost down! Keith Earl oh, thinks he has it. The television match official will make the final decision. OK, Dan, so we're happy the ball is played back by Green and then grounded by 11. So we're going to award the try, stay with the on-field decision. Yeah, I agree. Have the first try of the afternoon as we head towards half-time. And it was in that case, maybe that extra man just had Scotland stretched a little bit in defence. Ireland looked to burrow the way through. Caelan Doris almost got there. Threatening the Scottish line once more. Ireland inside that five metres to go. Two metres to go. If Off even that man. No holding. Xander Fagerson tried to get his hands on it. He couldn't. Where's the ball? Screams Conor Murray. Behind the line, behind Kean the line. Heaney will pick and go. And has he got there? His teammates think he has. Big shout from Ireland to convince the officiating party that Healy and Ireland are there again. Nothing clear for, for any of us, so we'll stick with our on-field decision. I agree. Try awarded. Use it now! Ominous times for Scotland in the context of this game. Connor Murray. Backwards, Murray. He goes backwards. Jacob Stockdale gets hit by Mander Merva. And the momentum keeps Ireland going forward. Tackle! The and goal away one! Should be there. Sutherland told to get his hands off it. Ireland have it. Good defence from Scotland in that first wave. Henshaw looks to unlock them out wide. Great pass from Lanny. Oh, it's going to get it in! Keep the balls in again! Try number 32 for Ireland. Try number two on the afternoon. And that all coming from Ireland sucking that Scottish defence in from the mall. Henshaw 
came back around the corner, great hands from Peter Romani, and then Earls was set free. Thank you. Fagerson, Matt Fagerson, midfield, again, numerous phases, 11 of them, but still almost on that line where the line out took place and the beginning of this. Away by Nick, 12. I reckon it's a net gain of minus two, is it? Around about that, but maybe now. Away goes Nanamurma, and he's got gas. He's going to do it all on his own. Super try. <laughs> Super try. Duhan Nanamurma on his fifth international cap. The man who'd beaten more defenders in this Autumn Nations Cup than any other player coming into the weekend finds a way to unlock the Irish defence all on his own. Penalty advantage. Advantage be played to Ireland again. Scotland throwing everything they have into defence. Ireland, 17 phases. Ross Byrne. Ball goes wide to Stockdale. O'Mahony's out on the win. Peter O'Mahony, does he have the gas? Yes, he does. Touch, touch, his flag is up. Touch, touch, his flag is up. O'Mahony, as he launched himself towards the line, just stuck no arms his tackle. foot on the line and will yes. go back. He He's doesn't right. like the decision. Because it was a hell of a finish. It's a pretty comfortable win, it has to be said, for Ireland. They started like a team that were lacking some confidence, but they finished like a team who had found a bit of belief again. The final score in Dublin is Ireland 31, Scotland 16.